it's not uncommon to get an occasional scratch when you play with your cat. However, it's important to take care of your wound and monitor it carefully for complications. Not all cat scratches are dangerous, but certain circumstances may increase your risk of developing certain diseases and other health risks. Keep watching to learn more about some of the possible dangers associated with cat scratches, and whether you need to seek medical attention. Risks associated with cat scratches Even during seemingly harmless play with your feline companion, occasional cat scratches are inevitable. Johns Hopkins Medicine says that kittens under one year old are even more prone to scratching, you may notice more incidents during play and nap time snuggles as your younger cat is getting used to their movements. Regardless of age, cat scratches can mean more than just pain and temporary red or discolored marks. These wounds can sometimes sting, bleed, and even become infected. Both feral and domesticated cats may also transmit certain viruses and bacteria when they scratch human skin. Some of the possible health complications include Cat scratch fever, also called cat scratch disease Tetanus Rabies How to treat cat scratches at home First, you should always wash any cat scratches with soap and warm water. Follow this rule for all scratches, even if it's your own cat. Pat the area of skin dry with a clean towel. If your scratch is bleeding, apply gentle pressure with a clean gauze pad. You may also choose to apply a small amount of over-the-counter antibiotic ointment before covering it with a sterile bandage. Monitor the scratch carefully over the next few days for symptoms of infection, such as Increased swelling Pus or drainage Red or discolored streaks emitting from the original scratch Flu-like symptoms, including fever, headache, and chills Call a doctor if you're experiencing any of the mentioned symptoms. You should also seek treatment if you've recently been scratched, bitten, or have had an open wound licked by a cat that isn't your own. Treating eye scratches Sometimes a cat may accidentally scratch your face, including your eye area. If this happens, you should immediately rinse out the affected eye with either clean water or saline solution. Be careful not to rub your eyes in case there's any object stuck, such as particles from your cat's claws. Next, you should call your doctor so they can thoroughly examine your eye for possible damage. They may also prescribe medications if your eye scratch becomes infected. The American Academy of Ophthalmology says that eye scratches tend to heal quickly. However, if left untreated, they may cause eye pain, excessive tears, headache, light sensitivity, blurry vision. About cat scratch fever, cat scratch fever refers to a bacterial infection caused by Bartonella hensili. Felines may carry the bacterium in their saliva. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, estimates that up to 40% of cats will carry this bacterium at some point, but most don't show any symptoms. Originally, cats may get this bacterium from fleas. Cats can spread the bacterium to each other during cat fights. Then, the bacterium may then be transmitted to humans via the affected cat scratching, biting, or licking an open wound. Symptoms of Cat Scratch Fever If you have a cat scratch fever, the CDC says you may notice the following symptoms within 3 to 14 days of the initial incident. Scratches or bites that increasingly become redder or discolored and more swollen. Fever, aches, and other flu-like symptoms. Body rashes. Swollen lymph nodes. Excessive fatigue and weakness. Treatment for cat scratch fever. Cat scratch fever may be treated with antibiotics as well as at-home wound care to help clear up your symptoms and prevent possible complications. It is important to know that some of the symptoms of cat scratch fever are similar to those caused by other infections. This includes tetanus, which is caused by the Clostridium tetany bacterium. It's important to call a doctor if you're presenting with any symptoms of an infection so you may be treated properly. Your risk for developing cat scratch fever may also be higher if you've been around a cat infested with fleas. The CDC says that complications from cat scratch fever are more likely if you're under 14 years old or have a weakened immune system. While rare, such possibilities include Brain injury Other internal organ damage Bacillary angiomatosis, a progressive skin disorder that causes red or discolored, raised, lesions that have scaly outer rings. Red, irritated eyes along with flu-like symptoms. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Occasional scratches may seem like a natural part of being a cat lover, 
but you should always take care to wash any accidental wounds you may get after playing with your fur babies. Since some cases may turn into infections, it's important to be aware of suspicious symptoms and to contact a doctor right away. While it can be difficult to avoid cat scratches entirely when you have a playful feline in your home, there are certain measures you can take to help prevent complications. These include proper cleaning, avoiding feral animals, and keeping up with recommended vaccines. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.